Hi guys, welcome back to my channel if you're new here. Hi, my name is Felicia, everybody calls me Flick. In today's video we are doing look number two out of three. So this is the more artistic, creative, non where whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, this isn't something I would normally do. I don't normally draw stuff on my face and stick a load of gems on there. Um, I don't normally blow my eyeshadow right out to my temples and wrap my blush around my face so yeah this is the look we've, we've gone for today I did try and plan this out as you will see in the next clip um, my day hasn't really gone to plan I didn't get a lot of sleep last night and it really took its soul on me today and nothing went to plan so um, yeah didn't plan it out as much as I wanted to but I'm happy with what I did get done um, but yeah, obviously if you want to see how I got this look, then keep on watching. If you haven't already though, please do not forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell down below so you're notified of when I upload. I upload every Monday, Wednesday and Friday, so you are getting three videos a week. And all my socials are up here. Let's no, keep myself in frame still. <laughs> At the -E -T -X -O -X, uh, Instagram, Twitter and TikTok. Um, yeah, keep an eye on my Instagram stories because I am putting up the polls and the questions so you guys will choose a third look and if another could be another more wearable look or another one of these type of looks. Um, I am leaving it up to you guys and also on my TikTok I have enabled the Q&A feature so you guys can ask questions but you can also request videos to do that as well. So yeah, keep an eye on those for that and yeah. Want to see how I got this? Then keep on watching. Right, so today, as I said in my last video, um, going in a bit more of a creative, not so normal-ish makeup. I don't know if way to word this. Um, I did attempt a face chart for this. I did try and draw one. It didn't go well. At first I couldn't find my um, little sketchbook. Then I tried to draw a face chart. Apparently I can't draw anymore. Um, for someone who studied for years doing fashion and stuff, really disappointing. Um, so yeah, printed one off. Not that you can see much, but with what little time I did have at the end of the day, I kind of did sketch something out. So I kind of know what I'm going for. Um, so yeah, on that note, I'm gonna go in, um, I'm gonna do my base first for once. Um, I'm gonna mix my two primers, I'm gonna do my pixie Blur and drop for any blurring, and I want a glow base, so I'm going to use my W7 for that. Uh, I am going to use the glowy foundation that I've got. Obviously, I do need to mix that to make it a bit uh, lighter because it is very dark on me. So, I'm going to do my glowy primer kind of more on the higher point. Sorry, I've got like um, the dance mums clip thing coming up on Facebook and it's like the biggest meltdown of fights between the mums. God, I wish I never stopped watching it. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'm going in with my Glow Time Foundation. I'm going to mix it with my lightning drops. I'm just going to mix it on the back of my hand and apply it that way. Remember to get my little spatula this time.
zoom myself back out on the mirror. See that is actually I really like how that is applied with this brush. That looks so nice. Oh I love that. Happy days. I am gonna do or oh, do I? No, I won't wipe that off just yet. What I'm gonna do before I do anything else is take my pair of soap. I'm quickly gonna do my soap brows. Probably should have done that before I put my foundation on, but I'm not too concerned about um, filling my brows in just yet. I just want to get the shape there. That is that bit done for now. I will go in and fill that in afterwards, but I won't do it until I have done like the eyes and everything because I don't know quite how big and blown out I'm doing it. See you I'm gonna go with my revolution. Going in with 2.5, which is the lighter of the two that I have. Um, instead of using my normal contour shade, last time I used the one next to it, just slightly darker. Um, and actually, it still works pretty well, so I haven't got to panic just yet about replacing this. Although, like I said, I have found it on um, eBay. I'm going to take my other one of these. I can't believe how flawless this looks when you just leave it to set like that little bit longer before buffing it in. That is just... Uh, wait, did I just dig my nail into it? There's a dig in that, so I feel like I have dug my nail into it, but... Okay. 
pretty liquid blush i was gonna mix the pink with a touch of the red for this i'm very lucky that uh, my best friend coral let me her she didn't the orange one as well um i'm not gonna use the orange one for this i want this more pinky and red um but yeah very lucky so thank you coral for lending me the red base because i haven't it yet so i'm mixing a bit of reefwear red and uh, winter road This is very much going to be like a blush heavy look. Okay, that's where I am going to leave my blush for the moment. Right, so, so I'm going to go in my normal base. I'm not 100% sure on which shades I'm going to go in with. Um, I'm, <laughs> as, I, as usual, I'm probably just going to wing it. I'll go in with a couple of matte shades. I probably will add uh, the Raspberry Shimmer shade. Okay, I'm going to take the shade, I'm going to take the shade Flamingo first, or do I, actually no, I'm going to go in with Birthday first, which is the lighter one. And this is very much going to be big and blown out. I'm not planning on making this a small look at all. Now I'm going to go in with the shade Flamingo, which is that slightly darker one. Still very much the same tone. Actually, to be fair, those two are almost identical. So I'm going to take the shade uh, Milkshake, which is this one here. Yeah, um, please ignore my finger. I managed to completely snap it the other day and I have no idea how.
Now I'm going to take the shade Claret, which is that darkest red. I'm taking this on a fluffy brush. And this, I am literally really blowing this out. And I am going to wrap my blusher around to really kind of bring it in. Right. I'll be back in a second because this is about to cut out in eight, seven, six, five, blah, blah, blah. Give me two seconds, I'll be back. I'm literally just going to keep building up that claret shade because obviously I wrap my blusher around, but I do feel like it's going to get lost. And I want to make it focus more upwards and out, not just. Okay, battery's back to die, I'll be back. Right, I'm pretty sure that I didn't just record any of that. Um, so I just went in and finished off that so I just added onto my blush. So I'm gonna mix up a little bit more of the pink and the red. I'm also gonna just have a little bit separate pink and red. And I'm gonna start adding my hearts. So I'm gonna dip into that color first. zoom myself back in. Okay, so that was my first little ditty heart done. I'm going to go in and do the lighter pink now. I'm going to do that just below.
so two down one to go <laughs> I'm gonna go and do the red one I do need to open this, it's getting harder and harder to turn my head. Okay, I'm liking how this is looking. So, that is done. Next thing is liner. Um, but it is just, just on my waterline this time. I am not planning wing. It is not for that for this look. It is purely waterline. I just want to line my waterline. Just so it's starting to cover the band for my lashes. Okay, look, just my waterline. See, I can do it. I just tend to get carried away a lot. Clean it up in a second on my under eye. Gems. 
I also okay so I have gems but I also have these really pretty pearls so I might try and add some of these on I'm literally just dotting random gems right I'm gonna dot this and start sticking gems on in random places I'm liking this. It's pretty. Okay, I am going to go off. I'm going to um, do the other side because this is just going to cut out shortly anyway. So I'll do the other side, lashes on, um, and then we'll come back and do under eye um, and stuff like that. So yeah, be back shortly. All right, guys, I'm back. Um, so I got a little bit carried away um, and ended up doing both under eyes and my lips. So yeah, sorry about that. Um, one thing I haven't done that apparently I keep seeing, like, keep forgetting recently is my highlighter. Not too sure how I'm gonna do this considering obviously I've, I should have done this before I did the hearts. But yeah. Uh, I'm going in with Glaze, which again is the pinky one. Um, yeah, I'm kinda, might just do it kinda around where yeah, round round where the gems are. Oh, I'm gonna have to go over those hearts, I think. Oh, I've got an idea though, actually, it's not the end of the world, it's fine. Yeah, gonna do it over where. Okay, I've really got anything left on there. Enough to just kind of dab over it to bring the red back out rather than the highlight shade that kind of went on there. Wasn't too bad on this. There's more that side. Okay, so. This is the final look. Um, I don't think I did too bad considering that I didn't do really plan this out as much as I wanted to beforehand. Um, so yeah, you know, I've gone in with all the gems. I, I found some pearls as well that I did, I threw in there. Um, obviously I freely handed the hearts or whatever, but I like, really blowing out smokiness with the eyes, the wraparound blush. This is a very blush heavy look, which is not something I normally do. Um, neither is a red lip, so 
there is that too. Uh, my red lip actually is my W71 in Runway. It went ages to use this colour. So I put it in my drawer now. Um, so yeah. Boom. Also, I use the MUA pencil in Agenda. Cracked open another lip pencil. But um, yeah, this is it. So this is look two out of three. This is the more creative, artistic -y type of look. Um, I do want to do more of these. Obviously, get more avant-garde and wacky as we go on. But um, yeah, I like it. I think it looks all right. Probably could have gone bigger lashes, but then I didn't really want to detract from the rest of it. So yeah. Also, I did add um, a bit of shimmer on the lid. I went in with the shades raspberry on the lid and then royal ever so slightly just on the outer corner just where it starts to go into that claret shade um i just placed that just a little bit because i didn't want to keep it completely matte and i remembered saying it and then completely forgot to do it um so yeah, i did add that on too while i was off camera apparently but yeah other than that that is everything done this is look two out of three keep an eye on my instagram stories as well um because i will be putting polls up for you guys to pick either another creative look or another more wearable blah 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 um, and then on the day of i'll kind of put the question one up where you can clarify what type of look whichever one was chosen um and you can kind of clarify on that um so yeah for me now though, that is me done. I am gonna love you and leave you. I'm gonna go have a cup of tea, take this off and get ready for bed because this is three nights on trot. I have had very little sleep. Um, so I need to, I really need to get some sleep. But yeah, I'm gonna love you and leave you and I'll see you all in the next one. Mwah, bye.